Hey everybody, Chris L. Davis of AutomationBridge.com and today in this video I wanted to share with you um, one of the most important roles of automation. Uh, and to do that, I want to deal with what's called the customer life cycle in your business. Uh, and when I think of customer life cycle, I think of it as, as two events. Um, one event where you attract the customer or the prospect, I should say, and then the next when that prospect becomes a customer and or client. And I'm always concerned with the time in between those two events, right? Because what I found is that the more manual processes you have in place in your business, the longer that time is. And, and by manual processes, I'm talking about, let's say, for instance, in your business, you require a upfront consultation and then maybe some forms or documents that need to be signed. OK, that's all fine. But the problem that I've seen a lot of business owners make is that there's there's no set beginning in time. So you may send the email, say, hey, sign these documents and get them back to me within a week. And it may take them two weeks. And what that ends up being is each manual process. It it includes or it it, uh, it introduces a variable, an uncontrolled variable that can either make that time between prospect and pay, pay client further or closer. But the worst thing is it's unpredictable. And anything that you can predict and measure in your business, you should be predicting and measuring because it's very hard to get stability and security when such things can take place and really throw off uh, your anticipation or your expectations in your business. And, and this is what so what does automation have to do with it? Automation is what creates what I call a push button business. OK, now there's three steps that you you need to get in order for me to really hit this idea home. And so when I approach a business like this, where it's just manual processes all over the place and just screams unpredictable, uncontrolled and just money comes in whenever it comes in. Uh, the first thing I think about is simplifying. OK simplifying the amount of information that you absolutely need in order to make that prospect into a customer what is the minimal amount of information let's let's simplify it down to just the bare bones okay cut the excess fat off and simplify it down once we've done that to every process we need to systemize and, and what i mean by systemize is my definition of a system is the result of linear processes so upfront consultation, signed forms, follow-up consultation, payment. Those are three processes that take place in a linear fashion that when lined up like that creates a system, okay? And the lastly, of course, is automation, okay? So you need technology, a layer of technology that handles and executes each one of those processes seamlessly, flawless, and with, without breaking. OK, I, I guess that's the definition of flawless. Right. So with that in place, you now have what I call a push button business. And, and if we think of it in terms of a pipe, right, you turn your marketing on and water starts flowing. Prospects start coming through with automation in place. It keeps the pipe unclogged and flowing. So as much as you can generate is as much income as you can generate. Unfortunately, a lot of people who don't embrace automation in that manner, um, they have what I call a clogged pipe. So you can turn on your marketing and start filling your funnel with prospects. But being that when they enter your business, it's a lot of manual. You got to do this. You got to do that. It just gets backed up and backed up. And eventually you have to turn off your marketing, turn off the source until you can catch up. And that's where I see a lot of business owners say, hey, we're to capacity. Enough business. We have more than enough than we need. And um, to me, that just screams a lack of automation. Uh, an integration in place. So I just wanted to share with you that uh, that role of automation, that the approach that I take in my business, as well as uh, give a recommendation that you should really think about uh, retooling some of your processes if your business is not push button ready.